Hi, good morning, everybody. Want to do something totally different for dinner tonight or this week? I've got an idea, especially if you like those flavors of the Southwest and you love making homemade Mexican food. I'm going to show you how to do green chili pork, and you do it right in your slow cooker. And you make a big, big batch of it, and then you can do so many things with it. All right, let's get started. I've got about three to five pounds of either a, a sirloin pork, pork roast, or a, I like to use a pork shoulder or pork butt roast. And sometimes it comes in really big pieces, so you, you just need to cut it up a little bit so that it'll fit in your slow cooker. And season that really well with pepper, and I like to use either kosher salt or garlic salt. So season the heck out of it. And I'm just browning it real quick in a skillet. And those little brown bits, that's all good. That's all flavor. So I just want to give that a little bit of color and flavor before I stick it into this slow cooker. It'll really make a nice difference when it, it comes out in the end, if you take the time to brown your meat, whatever you're doing in the slow cooker. If you're making beef stew, I always suggest, you know, trying to take a few minutes to brown the beef. If you're doing chicken in the slow cooker also, it's nice to brown it up in, in most recipes. Okay, so you get a little bit of color on the pork. Again, three to five pounds of whatever kind of pork roast you have. This happens to be the boneless butt pork roast. And boneless is easier when it comes to the slow cooker, so you don't have to deal with all those bones. And it gets right in here, just like that. Now this is a green chili. So we're basically going to use, to create that green chili, we've got one jar of green salsa. Sometimes they'll call it salsa verde. Basically it boils down to about two cups of green salsa, which is a lot of times with green chilies and tomatillos, and it's just wonderful. Then I've got about a cup of chicken broth and a tablespoon of cumin, and that's it. It's that easy. Put the lid on your slow cooker, let it cook on low for about eight hours or high to four to, from four to six hours, and it just, here's where we are. It's just wonderful. It just falls apart, and it's not real spicy. And you can turn this into now a bunch of different recipes. You can make burritos with it. You can do enchiladas. You can make um, a, a green chili chili or a green chili stew. It freezes and makes wonderful leftovers. Here's one of my favorite ways to do it, basically, is I've got a tortilla that I've just warmed up in the microwave. It's flour or corn tortilla. And then you basically make open-faced tacos. It just shreds all up, makes a nice big batch, and serve this warm on the tortillas. Just falls apart. And then the classic way to serve green chili, I guess they say Mexican style, is to keep it green. A little bit of fresh lime juice, squeeze a fresh lime on, on top, a little bit of pico de gallo, and no, I didn't make this. I just picked it right up at festival, and it's that wonderful fresh tomatoes and cilantro and onion, maybe a little jalapeno in there. And then if you do want to do a little cheese, I like to use a white cheese, like a Monterey Jack, or this happens to be a traditional queso fresco Mexican cheese, and you just crumble it on top to keep it nice and simple. So there you go. It's my green chili pork recipe. You do right in the slow cooker, and it's just delicious. And and definitely something different for dinner.